So now we're going to move on to connecting these four boards together. So we have the two matrix driver boards, we have a control board, and we have a power board. So what we need to do is connect this power board to this control board, and then we need to connect these, this control board to these two matrix drivers. So we're going to start with connecting the control board to the power board. So if you look at the control board, you can see that there's six pads here, and then there's six pads over here. Uh, six pads over here. So we need to connect those uh, together. So the concept is that uh, this uh, battery pack stays in your pocket, and this control board goes on the side of the goggles. So you'll need about a four foot section to connect this board to this board. So, so this is where the flat ribbon cable comes in. So we need to connect this board to this board, and this is designed to be in your pocket, and this is designed to stick on to the side of the goggles. So you'll need about a four foot long section of wire to connect these two boards together. So if you look at this board, there's six pins here and there's six pins here. So we need six wires of a length of four feet. So I'm going to go ahead and rip off that much off of this flat ribbon cable. So now that we've got a four foot length of wire with six conductors, you need to split these conductors a little bit. You need to split them about an inch and a half, like that. Okay, so there's that, and now you're going to take your wire strippers and you're going to strip off about a quarter inch of insulation off of each one of these wires. So now that both sides are stripped, we're going to go ahead and solder one side to the control board here. And you'll need to solder um, one uh, side of the wire to right here, where we have six pads. So that's GND, VCC, SWTX, RX, and Reset. So luckily we went ahead and tinned all these pads, so soldering these wires onto here is really easy. So what you need to do is just uh, have your wire here, touch it to where you want to solder it, so I'm going to solder this wire to the reset. So touch the wire there and then just touch that pad with soldering iron. It should very easily just solder that, so just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same here. Alright, well that's soldered on there. So now this is all soldered and good to go. So now we're just going to unclip this and before we solder anything else, we have to tin these pads here. Because we forgot to do that. I forgot to do that when we were assembling the battery pack, so you need to tin these pads too. Alright, so those pads are tinned, so now we're ready to solder this board to this board. So, if you look at the writing here, it says GND, so we need to connect this wire all the way to the GND over here. So, basically connect all the pins like that. Um, there's one tricky bit. Um, if you look at, look here, it says, it says TX and RX here. Um, if you follow this pattern of uh, here to there, uh, GND to that GND, VCC to that VCC, SW to that SW, you'll find that uh, this TX wire is actually kind of flipped on this board here. So you, you see that we have um, RX and then TX. So just be careful when soldering to make sure you solder the TX directly to the TX uh, and not to the RX because if you do that the Bluetooth uh, compatibility won't do anything. So just make sure you watch out for that. Make sure you solder the TX to the TX and the RX to the RX. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and solder the other side of this cable to these pads. Well, that's soldered. So before proceeding, what you want to do is go ahead and flip the switch here and make sure this LED turns on. So when you flip the switch on the battery pack, this light should light up 
this light should blink and on the control board here when you flip on the switch this LED should light up and then it should go out so let's see that again it turns on it turns off and that means that this board is providing power to this chip and that uh, this uh, crystal and these capacitors and these two capacitors work uh, well and uh, you could proceed to the next part of the tutorial so this is what happens when you press the reset button you should see three flashes or just two flashes and then the LED turns on and then it turns off so we know that uh, these two boards are properly assembled and we can move on to completing the matrices so for now we're just going to turn this off and we're going to set this aside for just a little bit alright so here's what the goggles look like uh, I should have gotten a pair from eBay from the parts list so here are the goggles, here's what they look like mine are a little bit scratched up but that's okay so each one of these matrices goes one matrix goes in this eye and another matrix goes in this eye so before we mount those matrices we first have to figure out how we want to place these matrix driver boards so these are designed to kind of stick on right like so one on the left and one on the right uh, it doesn't matter if you put it mounted this way or this way it just matters it's just not at all so right now we're gonna go ahead and wire these two matrices to the control board so the main control board is going to be mounted somewhere on the strap over here over here so we need to uh, get a length of wire from here to here and then from here to this side over here so one chip will be here and we'll have to run wires from here to there and then another chip will be on the side uh, another matrix driver board will be on the side so we need to run wires from here all the way to here so the first length of wire you will need is about so the first length of wire that you'll need is about six inches from here to there so again grab your flat ribbon cable and you're going to rip off five conductors about six inches in length. So here's the five conductor six inch length of wire and then we'll need to get another one. So here's one section and now we need to get another section. So for this part we'll need five conductors at about 15 inches in length. So here's the secondary length of wire and this one is around 15 inches in length. So again we're going to go ahead and split these wires apart and these wires apart on both sides and then we're going to strip off somewhere between a quarter inch and an eighth of an inch of insulation. So I went ahead and split up all these wires. So actually one side you'll need about a half an inch stripped off and the other side you'll need about a half or a or quarter to an eighth of an inch. All right, so now that we have half an inch on one side an eighth of an inch on one side on both sets of wires, the half inch sections we're going to twist together so what you want to do is you want to twist each one of these wires to together so we have the six inch section and then we have the 15 inch section so on the one half inch stripped uh, parts you want to twist these wires together they're like so so what you want to do is you want to connect this wire to this wire and then this wire to this wire, and then this wire to this wire, and then this wire to that wire, and then this wire to that wire. So uh, that these wires are directly connected directly across. So this wire is connected to this wire, and then so on till the the very end wire is connected to the very end wire. 
So just go ahead and twist them together. All right, so we have these five wires twisted together like so, so that basically we have a duplicate of this connection going down to uh, both these two wires, so kind of like a Y splitter. Um, so now that these are twisted together, oh, also twist them this way, the long way, so that you know you have a length of wire here. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to tin each one of these five wires. So the tinning wires is pretty much the same as tinning pads. All you have to do is just apply so apply uh, heat and then touch it with solder, and that's it. So here's that process. All you need to do is just heat it, heat up the wire, and then apply some solder, and then do that to all the wires. So now that all these wires have been twisted and soldered together, we're going to go ahead and trim them down to about an eighth of an inch in length so they are easier to solder. Okay, well that's that. And now we're going to go ahead and solder all these five wires to the control module. So we're just going to go ahead and solder each one of these wires to the pads here. Just try to keep them in the mortar. So, you know, we'll solder this one to here, this one to there, this one there, this one there, and this one there, so that they're in a line. So, this bottom wire is going to be connected to the V, and the top wire is going to be connected to data. So, once again, since we've tinned the pads, it's pretty easy to solder the wires to the pads. All you need to do is just heat up the pad, and then. Just like that, it's soldered. Alright, so once these wires are soldered, we're going to solder each one of these uh, wires to the uh, matrix driver board. So don't worry about the wiring. Um, I will upload a wiring diagram to make you know the connections from here to here and from here to the boards a little more easier to understand if you didn't really follow along here. So just don't worry too much about that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and solder this shorter length of wire to a matrix driver board. If you notice, there's a notch here, and the labels are this way, so you need to solder the wires directly from here to there, from here to there, from here to there, and here to there, etc. This is V+, plus, this is V+, plus, this is V-, minus, this is V-, minus, this is CS, this is CS, this is CLK, this is CLK, this is data, and this is data. Pretty self-explanatory. Solder these pads to, or sorry, solder the wires going from these pads to these pads. I'll just go ahead and tack these wires on just like before. Well, that's one matrix driver soldered, soldered. So, again, make sure you solder it to the proper side. This side has a notch, and this is what you want to solder to. Do not solder it to this side. If you solder it to this side, it won't work. So, just watch out for that. So, here's one matrix uh, driver connected. So, before soldering the second one, we're going to go ahead and test that uh, basically we don't have any shorts here. So the way we're going to test that is we're just going to go ahead and flip on the power here and then see that this lights up and this lights this light turns on and off and this light stays glowing and that nothing gets hot because if you mess something up you have a short here this light won't turn on this light won't turn on and you'll know you have a problem with this matrix driver board and now we're going to go ahead and solder the other matrix driver board to the longer wire Again, you don't have to do it in this order, I just chose this order. You could solder the longer one first and then do the shorter one. Doesn't matter. So it's exactly the same process. Make sure you solder it to the proper side with a notch and not this side because again, it won't work. So make sure you solder it properly. So again, data data, clock clock, CSCS, CS, V minus V minus V plus V plus. They connect directly across. There's the other one soldered, 
And again, we're going to go ahead and test it to make sure that everything works properly and that you know we don't have any shorts in this board. Also, you probably shouldn't keep this battery pack on while soldering. So don't do that. Again, we're going to go ahead and test it. Yep, that light lights up. That light stays blinking. Nothing gets warm. Everything's just fine. So there we have it. That's all the electronics soldered together other than the connections from the matrix driver boards to the matrices, which is what we will do next.